we are back with a series video of Saigon Online Tech City. And today we are very honored to sit with Mr. Huang Ang, the General Manager of uh, Sentify. Hi Ang, uh, can you introduce us a little bit about you, Sentify, and also Big Data? Uh, yes, so as you just introduced, I'm uh, Huang An, or Le Huang An, I'm the uh, GM of Sentify Vietnam. And uh, Sentify is a fintech company um, with a headquarter in, in Switzerland and uh, with a technical hub in Vietnam. Uh, Sentify has been around for more than four years and uh, we focus on uh, crowd intelligence. So our mission is to make you know, people in the financial market uh, to have better decision, investment decisions by giving them the intelligence, you know, the effect, the knowledge from millions of people in the financial market. Mm -hmm. So we are listening to you know, millions of people, you know, highly relevant people, uh, influencers, people in the financial market, especially on Twitter, news and blogs, and we are processing you know, million, millions of messages every day and a lot of data. What is big data? Right, so what is big data? Uh, is it a lot of data? Uh, yes, but it's not enough. So, uh, besides volume, which is the first dimension, uh, there are two other dimensions of big data um, variety and uh, velocity. Mm -hmm. So, variety shows you know, the different forms, the different formats of data, and velocity shows how fast new data is generated. Um, Data from, from social media, for example, is absolutely big data. So it comes in different forms, including uh, text, uh, photo, audio, video, and so on. And there's so many social networks right now with you know, millions of active users every day uh, generating a, like a very big volume of data. Okay, so um, especially in you know, data and big data, so why data and why big data? Uh, data is simply the fact, uh, data is a true reflection of what is going on. Mm -hmm. So data gives you, you know, correct insights. Mm -hmm. uh, data can help you to have, you know, to make better decisions. And by the end of the day, data can help you to have bit, uh, better businesses. You know, in the last decades, actually, we are, we've been using a lot of devices. Uh, to generate you know, data and there are so many uh, channels on the internet where we can share data. Uh, when you, you, know, you take a, a photo with your, with your phone, you create a megabyte of data. Mm. And when you post that photo on your Facebook, you share you know, megabytes of data to billions of people. So that's why big data. Um, yeah, that's a good question. So, data has been generated a lot faster than the capacity of any single machine, you know, any single computer. So, we need a, you know, a totally different uh, infrastructures, we need different frameworks, different technologies, different algorithms and so on to deal with big data. So, in general, we need a big data way of doing things. Um, and you know, thanks to the internet, actually, uh, engineers or even non-engineering people can actually you know access to a lot of information, a lot of knowledge, and they can equip themselves with you know big data skills very easily. And uh, my additional tip is to learn from big companies mm -hmm. like you know Google, Facebook, Amazon, um, Microsoft, and those companies are actually you know giving back a lot to the tech community by sharing the latest technologies that they have built. Mm -hmm. So can you uh, share with more about data mindset and why it is important? So um, data mindset is actually all about uh, the way you think and the way you make a decision based on data. Mm -hmm. um, before, like if people are used to you know, making decisions based on not enough data or based on their intuition. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not saying this is totally wrong, you know, but most of the time it's not right or it's not convincing enough. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, you know, if you want to make a decision right, uh, if you want to make it you know, like a red or blue for your product. So instead of making a wild guess, let's say, okay, people will, will like your red more or you know blue more and you actually make some kind of you know you get some data 
you make a very quick survey and then you, you have some data you know how, how many people will vote for red and how many people will like it, blue and then based on that you know you have very convincing decision and most of the time you know because it's the true reflection and it's the right decision to make um, why is important for, for, for you know, especially business people to have data mindset because it's all about making decisions you know of course like we are making you know like a many decisions you know when you uh, when you work especially when you have a startup you have to make hundreds of decisions you know like decisions almost every day and with the data mindset you can actually minimize you know wrong decisions that you make and you know it has a huge impact on the, 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 the business do you have any specific advice for people when they want to start working with data, where to start? Yeah, uh, so in my experience, uh, technologies are not the biggest challenges. Mm. Uh, people are actually the biggest challenges. Mm. So start from people first. Mm. Uh, you know, prepare yourself and your team to have a data mindset, mm. which means forget what you think you know about. Mm. Uh, look into data. You know, if you don't have data, mm. try to get some data. And when you have it, try to make sense of it, mm -hmm. and then base your decisions on data. Mm -hmm. uh, the second tip is, you don't have to wait until you have big data. Mm -hmm. So start with small data. Mm -hmm. And believe me, you know, if you do it right, the, uh, the, it doesn't cost as much as you think, but the return is a lot more than what you expect mm -hmm. with small data. Uh, do you have any extra tips like which book to read or which topic to follow for the ones that work uh, with the big data? Uh, I would say just go online, you know, searching Coursera mm -hmm. and uh, follow, you know, big companies on, on, on what they're doing right now and that's my best advice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eng. And uh, we hope that with uh, the sharing of Eng Hong Eng, uh, you all understand more about big data and data mindset. And if you have more questions, you can comment below and we will transfer the questions to Mr. Bobby. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Factor that we need, you know, like almost every day because every day we have different problems. Mm -hmm. 